Hi, everyone, and welcome to Faith in an Ever-Changing World, Encouragement and Hope, Faith Story. I'm Janet Harley, your host, and today I am so pleased to have with me Marty Jean-Louis, and he is President CEO at 24 Flicks, President and Founder at My Christian Films, and is Founder of the International Christian Film and Music Festival, and this is the 10th year, right? Marty, 10th yes, year of this yes. festival. He's also a producer and director, and he's known for uh, Don't Say My Name and Maddie, The Discovery, and Daddy, We're Back. This man, he doesn't look old enough, but he has produced over 2,000 television shows, documentaries, and films, and I could go on and on, and uh, we'll be seeing some things uh, as well in the future uh, that Marty is going to be working on, and God is certainly, I was telling him earlier that God is using him up, <laughs> but thank you, Marty, for being here, and right after our intro, we will hear Marty's faith story. We'll be right back. And welcome back. And Marty, if you will, please share with us your faith story. First of all, Janet, thank you so much for uh, having me on your show. I am You're welcome. My pleasure. Honored. I am honored. Mm. Um, when Janet and I spoke, uh, and she said, <laughs> <laughs> "Tell me your faith stories," I had to really think about it because <laughs> there's quite a few. Uh, so I, I told her, uh, I think two or three, and I'm like, "Pick one." <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> We all have so many faith stories. But. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I certainly do. Uh, God has been in my life uh, mm -hmm. the entire time, uh, even though at times I didn't think so. Uh, but let's let's go on to the specific uh, faith story that um, Janet picked. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so about six, seven years ago, I started learning about human trafficking. I, I didn't know a whole lot about it. Uh, I, I knew about prostitution, <laughs> yes. but I didn't know what trafficking meant or mm -hmm. what it was. So I, I started researching a bit and, and learning from different folks. And it really opened my eyes as to what that was. And I was just blown away. And I was asking God, what, what can I do? Mm -hmm. I, I wanted to do something, but I just didn't know what to do. Um, I really didn't. Uh, but a lot of times when we ask God for things, we just have to be patient because he will deliver at his own time. Absolutely. Yeah. And um, fast forward, uh, maybe about three years um, a gentleman whom I met uh, and his wife uh, at the festival, International Christian Film and Music Festival. Uh, they had their films uh, screened there. Uh, it was a nominated film, Jana. Uh, they wanted to meet uh, with me. Uh, I wasn't sure why <laughs> at the <Yeah>. time. <laughs> I'm like, okay, let's, yeah, let's, let's meet. I'm always open to meet with people and, and hear what they have to say. Mm -hmm. And uh, they had a script uh, that they wanted to do, and it was a human trafficking script. Mm -hmm. I'm like, hmm, maybe this, this is the thing that God wanted me to be involved in and wanted to do. Wow. And that's how... God wanted me to be involved because I had asked about three years before, like, I, I want to do something. You're right. And right. it took about three years for God to, to answer. And he works that way. So, um, I, and I said, Federico, Patricia, you know, I'd love to, I'd love to uh, help you with this. 
They said, yes, <laughs> yes. All right. <laughs> so, um, and uh, we, we met again and I said, and I told them, you know, if we're going to do this, it needs to be real. It needs to be authentic. It needs to be based right. on true stories. And they had a script uh, written, sort of like a draft. Um, mm -hmm. I read it, uh, and I said, um, "Let's let's meet some survivors. Let's mm -hmm. meet some organizations uh, that deals uh, with that." If you hear my dog, I hear your dog. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> um, that's okay. <laughs> nuts when she sees squirrels. <laughs> no, I apologize. Yeah. Um. So I said, let's um, let's talk to some survivors and and organizations and really find out more as to what happens and 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 we started doing that. And we started talking more and, and more with folks. And then we started changing the story, the original story, to make it more of a real story, more authentic. And then um, we met uh, another young lady um, whose husband works for Homeland Security. And she says, hey, um, my husband works for Homeland Security. Um, if you want, maybe I can set up a meeting. I'm like, yes, absolutely. Yes. Uh, because they, you know, so we flew to New York and we, we met with uh, several Homeland Security agents and, and the agents that deals with that, that does the rescuing. So wow. we wanted mm. to see that from their perspective yes. as mm. well. And they told us true stories of things uh, that are now, you know, declassified. Uh, so, uh, so we took a lot of notes. We were there for hours and hours, and they were happy to just share what what they went through and what uh -huh. they go through. And then just now, the story becomes more real. Now we go back and we have to write it more authentically, and, and we did that. <laughs> Uh, and then now we have a good story. We have a story and that went through many phases <laughs> of, yes, of writing, as you can imagine. <laughs> okay, we got a story. Now what? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, um, man. We started casting for it. Yeah. We started planning uh, uh, with no money. <laughs> but... You know, God says to go forward. Um, you go forward. That's right. Uh, no matter what, um, you go by faith. Um, what you need is going to come at some point. It's not going to come easy, but it's going to come. That's a promise. If God calls you to do something, yeah. he's going to clear the path for you. Yeah. That is has been my experience. But yes. you have to do your part, and you have to trust, and you have to have faith. That's right. That's right. So we needed some money for pre-production because it does cost. So we, we did some fundraising and we did raise uh, some money and then that was gone <laughs> pretty, pretty quickly for pre-production. Yes. And, and now it came time. And we had set a date and this was, uh, we had set a date of November of 2019 uh, to film. And then we needed money we needed to raise a lot more money for production because we have actors that we have to fly, yeah. in, we have to pay, and we have to rent and stuff. Mm -hmm. and the production company, we got to pay and, and this and that. Um, and days are going by and uh, um, we are raising very little money, but we are raising, but not nearly enough what we need to go into production. And weeks are going by, um, and people are getting nervous. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Uh, are we really going to do this, or you know, what's what's going That's, on? What's going to happen? <laughs> one month before, I remember Federico and Patricia says, "I, I think I think we need to reschedule it for <laughs> for the next year, maybe January or February." Right. 
I said, no. Um, if, if, if we do that, uh, we'll be defeated. Um, oh. And we will not really do it because it's going to keep, we're going to keep doing that. Every time something happens, let's push it further. Right, right. Um, I said, no, we're not, we're not going to do that. Um, we're going to do it at the date that we set. And then two weeks before the film, the situation, <laughs> uh, the situation didn't change. Um, one week before, the situation has not changed. So as you can imagine, um, the people around me are very nervous. Oh, yes. <laughs> and for some reason, um, I don't know why. Um, I don't panic. I think God has built me that way. And I've mm. been through a lot in the past and I've seen God at work. Yes. Um, How he comes through. So many times in the last minute in my life. So many times. Mm. And, and I'm like, God, don't do that. Please don't do the last minute. <laughs> 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 oh my goodness <laughs> uh, don't do the last minute thing uh, <laughs> you know you called us to do this um i know that you're going to provide it um everyone's getting nervous everyone it's like a film before the film it really is um and people are not sleeping. <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I was not about to share that with some folks, because sometimes when you do that, it doesn't help the situation. It just makes you more nervous because now yeah. you have more people yeah. nervous, right? Yes. Um, yeah. And when you have a lot of people that does not have faith or that doesn't quite believe that this could happen, um, it... It, it has a chance of not happening. You need to people sur you need to surround yourself with people that does have faith, that believe that God can deliver yeah. at any moment. Yeah. Um, so absolutely. So that he, he God says all you need is is faith the size of a mustard seed. And I did look it up. The mustard seed. I looked it up. It's really uh -huh. really small. It fits like in your it little. It really is. It's just, yeah. yeah. Uh huh. So, days before uh, we go into production, situation still hasn't changed. Um, and then, you know, we have flights already scheduled, um, paid for, locations, yes. everything is set. And two days before, situation still the same and uh the day before we go into production um morning of nothing but god came through with a beautiful family that said um this is literally almost 11 p.m oh. the day before I'm on the wow. phone with them. That family says, yes, we'll come on board. We believe wow. in the world. And then that's how God mm. heard. And yes, mm. we did do the last minute thing, this, despite me pleading. <laughs> you know, Marty, I think sometimes that's a test of our faith. You yes. know, and uh, so, but wow. That is amazing. That's amazing. Mm. And That's now our we Lord. We <laughs> have a completed um, film that people have seen and love, have already changed many lives. Yes. Uh, because of the films, a lot of people are taking action and, 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 and doing things uh, yes. to help end uh, human trafficking. That is absolutely wonderful. What a... What a great faith story. I mean, th it took a heap of faith for you uh, to to have, to, to be steadfast in that faith. 
uh, to for and, and then the Lord coming through with a family uh, the evening before yes. you shoot. Wow, that's just uh, amazing. Thank you, Marty, for sharing that uh, that great uh, faith story with us. And there is one more question I would like to ask you. What is one thing that you believe we can do to hold on to our faith in this ever-changing world we live in? Yeah, for me, I would say um, it, it's, it's two things. Sorry. No, that's <laughs> um, fine. They're both connected. Uh, one, you have to stay on your knees. Um, mm. Two yeah. is you have to stay in the word. Yes. I don't think there's a way around it. The mm -hmm. more you stay connected with God, the more he's connected with you. Uh, so think of it this way. If I have my child next to me, when I talk to him, he could listen and hear me well. But if he's further away, he has a hard time hearing me. And it's the same right. for us with God is if we are further, the further we are away from him, mm. um, the less we can hear him when he's talking to us. But if we stay connected, we stay close. And then we can hear him when mm. he talks to us. Yes, absolutely. What a great illustration uh, that is, Marty. Thank you again for being my guest today. Thank you. And thank you all for watching. And I also want to thank our wonderful family at Christian Motion, Creative Motion Network. Creative Motion Network. Thank you for watching as well. Have faith. And look up, friends, where our help comes from. Bye. God bless.